Uh, so we started with uh, back in, I guess, October-ish uh, or so. Um, and what this is is the first block or level one of the 309A construction maintenance license and apprenticeship program. This block is, is uh, one of three and they're eight weeks apiece. Hopefully they'll maintain employment uh, within the uh, electrical trade after a set amount of hours uh, based on the apprenticeship board. They'll come back, they'll do a second block of school and then they'll go back to work and then they come back for a third block of school. One of the main benefits with this training initiative is actually building the capacity with our own membership, either an electrician or mill, millwright apprenticeship. And it's, to see it actually happening on site is a real benefit. I think it's a, a, an excellent opportunity to have a facility like this um, be able to come to these northern communities and yet still have the ability to you know, want to work in the mill and learn a little bit more about that. Well, I get wages at the same time and it's not out of my pocket lots, right? So I can go home, be with family, and it's going to shape my future better to be part of the team here in Nikina. The students have done really uh, quite well actually with the, with the program in itself. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in joining the electrical trade. Uh, I like the opportunities that I've been granted here. It just it feels like a family here and I like it. We're not, you know, going solo, I guess, you know. We have to see us as, like, it, as one, really. And we gotta work together. You never find yourself down. You always have somebody around to help you back up. And with training like this, just shows that the company itself cares. We'll show that there's, there's a, a, a unity between industry and First Nations, or it's, it's always a good thing to see industry and First Nations work together. When I go home to Fort Hope, you always see yeah, they hire uh, electrical trades to come and do the housing. And then same with the residential too, they hire in uh, contractors. I get to hang out with them. And I would like to bring in another Anishinaabe like me to come in when I'm done all of this. Eh? I'm hoping this place keeps running for a long time. And I'm really want to be part of the team here in Nakina. Once they see these success stories that are happening currently in this training program, it will open the eyes for others and say, you know, like, it, it is real. It is, it is a possibility. As a Goki and a Nakina Sawmill, there's so much other things that we can do with this sort of training and apprenticeship uh, programming.